Ladies and gentlemen, school is in session. Prepare yourselves for the school of Croc. Good morning, crocodilies out there. Happy Saturday. Thanks for being with us today. Now today we're gonna do something that you don't normally see us doing here at Gatorland. Alligators in general get really, really dirty. Now it doesn't really matter and algae grows on them naturally, but one of our efforts to get the park back open is we have to keep our white alligators very, very clean. So today for School of Croc, me and Danny are gonna give Hey, you clouded up the water. Me and Danny are gonna give Pharaohs, our biggest leucistic alligator, a bath. Oh! Hello, Danny. What's up, everyone? <laughs> Where, where'd he go? He's a, he went over there towards Savannah. There, but I'm watching the girl. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Kate, no. Hey, James. <laughs> Right, we have, there, he, there he is, right there. Mary Kate doesn't like the Gator 13000 <laughs> Oh no, Mary Kate. Mary Kate, let us wash those! You know, a lot of people don't like bath time, and that's right. important. Kids never like bath time. Give her some food, Danny. All right. I don't know where you got. There she is. Hey, Danny. Sorry about that, kiddo. <laughs> there Make we go. Sure you never feed well. Yeah, we must never feed or interact with wild alligators ever. Right, we're trained professionals, even though it might not look like it right this second. <laughs> Alright, okay, call Pharaohs. Pharaohs, come here, buddy. Oh, he, he went under water, now he can't hear me. Now we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about leucistic alligators today. Pharaohs. With big Pharaohs. Pharaohs, come on. And we're going to get Pharaohs, watch out for Mary Kay. I'll get him over here. And we're going to give Pharaohs a bath. Just to get some of this dirt off of him, you can see. Now some of that, what you're seeing on Pharaohs is natural Pharaohs. alligator coloring. Pharaohs. Pharaohs, here you go. Oh, he Whoops, he missed it. <laughs> this isn't working out like we thought it was. Yeah, I'm going to come over here and you can wipe okay, them down. Yeah. Now, Pharaohs, if you have any button. questions about Pharaohs or alligators or leucistic alligators, go ahead and start asking them. One thing I can point out right now, you see he's going under the water, and unlike our darker Pharaohs. gators, our regular gators we have here, you can still see him pretty good when he's underneath there. So that's one of the kind of disadvantages a leucistic or an albino gator has uh, in the wild, is that the things that they're hunting can still see them, and when they're babies, the things that would eat them can still see them. So yeah, alligators like this would never exist naturally, and Pharaohs came to us actually from Louisiana. Pharaohs. He's one of only seven alligators left from a leucistic clutch of alligators that was found in Louisiana a long, long time ago. Now, alligators like this don't do very well in the wild, just like cameraman Dan was telling you guys. Mary Kate, back up. Now, James... Mary Kate is his girlfriend, and she's being super hungry and aggressive this morning, which is not normally like Mary Kate. Heroes! Come on. Now, James wants to know why uh, you would want to give him a bath. Because Pharaohs. we try to keep them as clean as possible. Pharaohs. Come here, Pharaohs. And you see all this green algae on here? It's naturally Pharaohs, occurring, but we do like to clean it off a little bit. That way when people come here, they can see how beautiful these animals are. Now, a lot of that on his oh. face is Whoa. natural pigmentation. So... Leucistic alligators are different than albino alligators in that leucistic alligators still have a little bit of natural alligator coloring on their skin, whereas the albino alligators have absolutely none. Mm. Now, Isaiah wants to know, are there any animals or anything in the wild that helps to clean them naturally? Um, when they swim underneath brush, when they eat big prey, it helps clean their teeth. So yeah, there are things that do that. Plus, when they get out in some of the sunlight, which is not really good for their skin, that helps burn a little bit of that algae off. Mmm. Look at that. So neat. Pharaohs, come on, buddy. What do you guys think? Of, what do you guys think of Pharaohs, huh? <laughs> Call him, Danny. Come on, Pharaohs. Kevin wants to know: Do you think that he enjoys the bath? Does that feel good? For him? Um, I think he does. I think initially Pharaohs. it's a different kind of feeling, but I think that now because we've been doing this for years and years and he's lived here for so long that he enjoys his bath time. See how he's not moving now? He just has to 
calm down a little bit. They get excited when we get in here. Look at that. He's looking better already. Now, Nicole's asking how come he has a different color than the other gators in the park. What do you mean? Like, you know, maybe let her know about leucism. I don't know if we've discussed that so yet today. There are leucistic animals in the whole entire animal kingdom. There are leucistic sugar gliders. There are leucistic snakes. There are leucistic deer. There are hey. leucistic horses. And one of their biggest character traits is uh, yep. they have these beautiful blue eyes. And legend has it that fortune, good fortune, will come to those who stare into the blue eyes of the white alligator. Very nice. So leucistics are different than albinos. Absolutely. Completely different. You see this patch right here that looks like he ate a chocolate chip cookie? Mm -hmm. That's all normal alligator coloration. The green stuff you're seeing is a little bit of algae that's growing on him. But he doesn't, it doesn't bother him very much. But it kind of bothers us, so we like to keep him cleaned up. Wow, very nice. Heroes! Uh, so Yanni wants to know, how come they respond so well to their names? Well, we teach all of our alligators, well, not all of them, but the majority of our alligators that we work with consistently, we teach them their names so that if we ever have to move them, if we ever need them to go in a different direction and for veterinary care, we want to make sure that they respond to their name and they have a couple of good holding commands and they have a couple of good moving commands. All right, now Ed needs some good luck. So he wants a nice close-up of the eyes. <laughs> so all of you go ahead and take a good look into those eyes so you can get some good fortune also. There we go. Plus, they're just pretty eyes. Look at that. They are. Isn't that great? Pharaohs? Yeah. You want to look at me? Pharaohs and I've said this before about Pearl, uh, but I, I, like, I draw the alligators here at Gatorland, and one of the things I love about leucistic gators is you can really uh, see Pharaohs. all the detail because they're white. Up, you can see all the up. scoots. You can see every scale. Up, like, they're Pharaohs. just really, really beautiful. There you go, bud. Good so. job. Good job. Now, Ed wants to know, do they have the same lifespan as regular gators? No one really knows the answer to that question because there's so few of them in the world. And scientists do study leucistic alligators to find out more about them. But it's basically a recessive gene. And uh, they do definitely have more health problems than... An alligator the same size that's a normal color. Mm. Plus, when they're babies, they don't fare as well Absolutely. in when the wild. Absolutely. When they're babies, they get picked off by birds very quickly. Danny, call them. Pharaohs. Pharaohs, come here, buddy. Go see Danny. Come on. Go see Danny. Pharaohs. Very neat. Anybody else have any questions about this guy? <laughs> so neat just watch him move. Yeah, it is pretty awesome just to watch him. Heroes. Yeah, Janet's saying he seems very relaxed from getting his back scratched. Yeah, he likes that. Everybody likes a good back scratch. So think about what's happening here. This is like a spa for him. So he's just sitting here eating and people are massaging him and pretty nice. Yeah. They they really have some luxury going on here at the at Gatorland for these gators. Yeah, they do. Heroes, come on, buddy, smile. Now, how smile. did we get this gator, Kevin just asked? Well, he came to us from some people in Louisiana. Uh, Gatorland had donated a couple of our larger alligators to a place in Louisiana because they had run out. And so when the place ended up closing down, they returned our two alligators, but they also returned with those two alligators, three leucistic alligators, and they are all beautiful. I so know. we did a nice thing for them. They did a really nice thing for Absolutely. us in return. That's how it works. That's why you always got to be nice to everyone. Always be nice. Yep. Let me see so, if I can get some good shots from out here. Can so Harper there? was asking if they're albino, but again, these are leucistic, which is a little different than albino. Yeah, let's see if I can get a couple little... Ooh! Ooh is your, is your, oh, oh, sorry, is your, is your phone waterproof, cameraman Dan? It is not waterproof. Okay. Look right here. Look at that, you guys. I bet you never seen anything like that in your life before. That's what an alligator looks like when it's coming at you. I don't know if it's alligator-proof <laughs> either, so we should be careful of that also. Heads up. Heads up. There you go, fella. There you go, fella. Heads up. And you see inside his mouth there, there are a couple leeches in there. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this, but alligators do get leeches. Leeches get on almost anything. We try to pull them off when we can, but we're definitely not going to stick our fingers in his mouth to get those off. That's about 2,000 pounds of 
jaw closing power per square inch. I'm gonna pass this back to cameraman Dan now. Hopefully we don't drop it like yeah, we did hopefully. yesterday in the YouTube vlog. Oh, wait, you dropped the phone already? <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, come on. <laughs> wow. Look at that. These guys are just the coolest and Gatorland is one of the only places that you're able to see them because the cystic alligators are just so rare. There you go, buddy. Now, yeah. Kevin wants to know where you would find them at Gatorland. You will so, find them in our white alligator swamp. So Gatorland has the biggest collection of white alligators in the world. So we have big pharaohs here. We also have trezos. We have moonshine, cottontail, uh, and pearl, who are our albino alligators. We also have three baby albino alligators named Huck, Sawyer, and Ellie Mae. So lots of times when facilities in different places get white alligators, they don't quite know what to do. But since Gatorland has been working with all kinds of alligators and crocodiles since 1949, that's 70 years of experience on most places that have just opened up. So mostly those animals, the rarer ones, come to Gatorland because Gatorland has an amazing track record for taking care of them. Wow. So now some people are asking about teeth. So you want to tell us about how alligator teeth work for those of us who don't know? Go ahead, Danny. All right, so you're probably wondering why Trezo doesn't have all his teeth right now. They will come back in. Alligators go through about two to 3,000 teeth in their lifetime. Wait, uh, what? Yeah, they go through a lot of teeth. Two so to 3,000 teeth. What happens is when they bite something, all that pressure that Savannah was talking about, sometimes the teeth pop off. What's cool about them though, their teeth are kind of stacked like ice cream cones. They're hollowed out underneath. So if one pops off, another one will just grow in. So Trezo will get his teeth back. He probably just lost a few recently. So once his teeth come back in, uh, he'll have a full pretty set of teeth, all 82 in his mouth at one time. Wow, super neat. So the so tooth fairy take, loses a lot of money on <laughs> alligators probably. <laughs> well, let's Man. take one more good question, cameraman Dan, and then we're gonna end this up for the day because I think Pharaoh's is tired of bathing. All right, now Wesley wants to know if the white alligators need special food or do they eat the same things the other gators eat? Um, they eat mostly the same thing the other alligators eat, but we do supplement their food with um, lots of croc chow, which is a pellet of food that's designed especially for crocodilians. So we make sure they get a lot of that mixed in with their regular meat. Wow. Oh, I love these guys. They're just so cool. <laughs> so cool. Thank you, Savannah. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, do you got shout outs, Dan? I sure do. Here, Danny, you take this. I'm going to do our shout outs for today. You can get some some meat on there. Don't drop right. that phone, yeah, Dan. do not drop it. He's got meat all over his hands. The, oh my you goodness! If you watched the vlog yesterday, you will see that Danny dropped my phone in with the alligators yesterday. I caught it though; it fell for a second. Oh, Danny! Gatorland vlogs, if you'd like to see that. Don't drop my phone, man. All right, listen. Hello to Jesse, Mew, Tanil, Tanya, Monica, Lucinda, Darlene, and Mickey. Head to the School of Croc Facebook group to see some awesome beeper artwork by Jeffrey and Arlie. And a really nice card from Brennan and some more cool crafts by Chloe. So remember, you want to go on the Facebook group for School of Croc and post your pictures. Make sure you're saying hi to us. Show us your shirts. Whatever you got, we want to see it on the School of Croc Facebook group. And you guys can see just a little bit right here how he can't camouflage under this water. Like, even if Pharaohs wanted to sneak up on some food and eat it, it would be almost impossible. So his life outside of Gatorland would never have lasted this long. So we're really proud and happy to have Pharaohs with us here. And we'll introduce you guys to some more of our alligators and crocodiles again on Monday. Don't forget, if uh, you want to check us out on YouTube, it's Gatorland Vlogs. There's some a little bit dangerous stuff there, right? <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit more. <laughs> you know, maybe for your teenagers out there <laughs> or your tweens. All right, so say bye, Pharaohs. There you go, good boy. Now let me get this back over here to cameraman Dan, and we'll round this up. Pharaohs. Okay. All there right, we well, we're not on tomorrow, but we will see you all Monday. Same croc time, same croc channel. Bye, everyone. Bye.